Good morning, class, and how are you all today? Good. Now, I'm fine, thank you, and thank you very much for asking. Class, yesterday we learned about verbs. Now, who of you can remember what a verb is? Yes, Ming, what is a verb? A doing word. Yes, well done. Chang, an action word. Right, so verbs describe action. They describe what you are doing. So now we know what verbs are, but can some of you give me some examples of verbs that we dealt with yesterday? Well, the first one, yes, yes, Lou, eat, well done. Another verb, sleep, well done, Ming. Chang, eat, well done. Now, just to make sure that some of you understand these verbs, let me find out, show me with your hands what actions you would do to describe these verbs. Right, let's look at the first verb, eat. Oh, well done. Yes, this is how we would eat. How would you sleep? Great, well done. Well done, Ming. How would you read? Oh, well done. Yes, well done. Here's a difficult word that we dealt with yesterday. The word think. How would you think? Oh, well done, Ming. Mm, well done. Right, class, now that we understand what verbs are and you've given me some examples, today I want to show you how verbs can be used, and especially in the present continuous tense. Present, now, and continuous, ongoing. It's going on. The present continuous tense. So if we look at these three verbs which I have for you, eat, sleep, and read, let me show you how we can use verbs by asking these three questions. And the first question is, Ming, if I'm talking to you, well, I will ask, what are you doing? I could also ask, what is he doing? I could also ask, what is she doing? So if we look at the first question, what are you doing? And we have this verb, eat. Watch what I'm going to do. I put, I am in front. And because it's present continuous tense, I will then say, I am eating. All of you repeat after me. I am eating. Well done. I am eating. In the present continuous tense. If we look at the question, what is he doing? We can say, he is. And because it's present continuous tense, he is Sleeping. Well done. I'd like you all to repeat after me. He is sleeping. Ming just said one more time. He is sleeping. Well done. And the last question, what is she doing? Well, the answer could be she is. And because it's read, we're now going to change it to the present continuous tense. She is reading. All of you repeat after me. She is reading. Say it again. She is reading. Well done, Klaus. So now we have verbs used in the present continuous tense. Taking place now and it is ongoing. Right, Klaus, now you understand now how verbs can be used in the present continuous tense. But I want to see if you understand it properly. So if I say to you, I am, you will say, I am sleeping. If I say to you, he is, well done, Klaus, he is reading. All of you say after me, he is reading. If I want to say to you, she is, oh, well done, she is thinking. All of you say after me, thinking. Chang, just say that word, thinking. Say it again. Well done. He is thinking. She is, well done, she is reading. And he is, good, he is eating. So to learn these verbs in the present continuous tense, we can sing a song. So I'm going to use the questions and I'm going to use the answers. And it sounds like this. What are you doing? I'm eating, eating. What is he doing? He's sleeping, sleeping. What is she doing? She's reading, reading. She's reading, reading now. Shall we try it again? What are you doing? I'm eating, eating. What is he doing? He's sleeping, sleeping. 
What is she doing? She's reading, reading. She's reading, reading now. Right, thank you, class. I see we have some wonderful singers in, in the class today. Class, I, I want us just to focus a bit on a very difficult English sound, and that is th, th. All of you do the following, th, th. Lou, say it quickly, th, say the sound th. Say it again, well done. Ming, you say it, th. Let the air flow over your tongue. Watch my tongue, th. Well done, Ming. Okay, so we're going to focus on this sound today in English. And there's three words which I have here for you. And the first one is three. All of you say three. Lou, say three. Watch my tongue. Three. Well done. So all of you say three and point to me three fingers. Three. Well done. Another word that I'd like us to look at is teeth. Show me your teeth. Ah, well done. Teeth. All of you say together, teeth. Watch me, watch my mouth. Teeth. Lou, say teeth. Teeth. Well done. And another word is bath. Bath. All of you say bath. Well done, Klaus. And bath is when you take a bath and you wash yourself. You're in the bath and you wash yourself. Show me with three fingers. Three. Show me your teeth. Well done. All right. Teeth. So with these three words, let's see if you understand the following. Listen to me first, and then I want you to say it afterwards. Teeth, teeth, three teeth. Bath, bath, take a bath. Th the three teeth are taking a bath in a bath. Right. Shall we all say it together? Teeth, teeth, three teeth. Bath, bath, take a bath. The three teeth are taking a bath in a bath. Now the test is to see if you can say it a bit faster. Teeth, teeth, three teeth. Bath, bath, take a bath. The three teeth are taking a bath in a bath. Well done. Did you enjoy that? I'd now like you to look at these pictures and words I have here up on the wall. And I want you to say these words after me. And then I'm going to point to these words and you must tell me which words I'm talking about. And the first one is three. All of you say three. Three. Another word is tree. All of you say tree. Three. Tree. Ming, just say three again. Watch my tongue, the air flowing over the tongue, three. The next word, mouse. Mouth. All of, me, all of you point to your mouth. The mouth. All of you say together, mouth. Lee, say mouth. Mouth. Well done. Another word, mat. And math. Mat and math. So, Lee, say math. Oh, well done. Well done. Chang, say math. Watch me. Let the air flow over your tongue. Math. And the last words, tank and thank. Thank. All of you say thank, as in thank you. Say thank. Lou, say thank. Good. Well done. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to choose certain words and you must point to me these words on the wall. Point to me the word math. Is it this one? This one. Oh, well done, Klaus. Math. Point to me the word mouse. Is it this word? Great. Well done. Mouse. Point to me the word three. Three. Is it this one? Oh, well done. Well done, Klaus. Right, Klaus, today we've learned about the present continuous tense. We've also improved a bit on the th sound in English. And it is a difficult sound, so I don't want you to be too hard on yourselves. So for homework, on page 33 in your exercise book, I would like you to do the activity on the present continuous tense 
And tomorrow, I'd like to see who can say this very well. Class, thank you very much for a lovely class today. I enjoyed this lesson, and I hope to see you tomorrow. And Chang, good luck with your basketball game this afternoon. And all of you, take care.